And greetings everyone. In this video, we will be looking at uh, NCA level 3 mathematics achievement standard uh, systems of simultaneous equations at an achieved level. So some of the skills that will be demonstrated in this video will be uh, forming equations from a given context, uh, solving systems of uh, three linear equations containing three variables and communicating uh, solutions in context. So in this uh, question, um, it says a local soccer team uh, has to order uh, jerseys, shorts and uh, hats. They want to buy 40 items in preparation for the oncoming uh, season. They have a budget of uh, $1,350. The cost of each item is uh, $50 for uh, each jersey, $20 for shorts, and uh, $15 for hats. The manager must order as many jerseys as uh, shorts and hats combined. And the question says, uh, how many of each item should they order? Now, to answer this question, uh, we need to uh, form equations uh, by defining variables and in this case we can let uh, x be number of jerseys uh, that uh, the manager needs to order uh, y be number of uh, shorts uh, to order and uh, z be the number of hits uh, that uh, the manager needs to order we are told in this question that they need to buy 40 items so what that means is if i add uh, the um, number of jerseys shorts and hats the total should be 40 so i can uh, write the equation for that so x plus y plus z should be equal to 40 so that's my first equation we are also told that they have a budget of uh, 1350 dollars and the um, cost for each of the um, items are listed here so the cost will go with the total cost here so we can put that information together so 50 times the number of jerseys they order so 50x plus 20y plus 15z should be equal to uh, the uh, budget they had $1,350 so this is uh, our second equation and then uh, the manager must order as many jerseys as shorts and hats combined so in other words uh, what combined means is if I add the number of shorts and hats that he has to order it should be equal to the uh, number of jerseys so we can we know that um, jerseys is x so we can write the equation x is equal to y plus z uh, combined and this is our third equation now once i've got these three equations then i need to see uh, which variable is easier to eliminate so in this case um, uh, i can see that uh, x is same as y plus z so i can use substitution method so x looks easy to get rid of uh, because x is same as y plus z so to get rid of x uh, i will substitute the uh, third equation in equations one and two so i will basically replace um, x by y plus z in these two equations there and um, the first equation now becomes x is same as y plus z so y plus z plus y plus z is equal to 40 and then we can quickly simplify that uh, so y plus y is 2y and z plus z is 2z so y uh, 2y plus 2z is equal to 40 that's our fourth equation i can simplify that as well uh, which will uh, mean i can uh, divide by two on both sides which simplifies to y plus z is equal to 20. I don't need to simplify, but if you have simplified, it's easier to work with. So that's our fourth equation. Then we'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll replace x by y plus z in the second equation. So that will read uh, 50 into uh, y plus z. So please make sure that uh, when you substitute um, equation 3, put that in brackets because uh, 50 is multiplied by both the variables here uh, plus 20y plus 15z is equal to 1350 and then we'll expand and simplify so 50 times y is 50y 50 times z is 50z plus 20y plus 15z is equal to 1350 uh, combine like terms so that gives you a total of uh, 50y plus 20y which is 70y plus 65z is equal to 1350 and this is our fifth equation what we will then do is uh, we'll uh, put equations uh, 4 and 5 and then we'll see which one is easier to eliminate in this case uh, it's easy to eliminate variable y 
and if I just multiply the fourth equation by 35 I will get uh, same coefficient as 70 so 35 times the fourth equation each and everything there and if I take away equation 5 I will be able to uh, get rid of uh, variable y now if I multiply equation 4 by 35 I will get 70y plus 70z is equal to 1400 uh, 40 times uh, 35 is uh, 1400 and then I'll uh, subtract the uh, fifth equation so 70y plus 65y is equal to 1350 now if I quickly uh, simplify that so if I'm subtracting uh, 70y minus 70y um, gives you zero so 70 take away 65z is uh, 5z and 1400 take away 1350 is uh, 50 and uh, then we can quickly solve for z z comes to uh, 10 because 10 times 5 is 50 and then uh, you can uh, substitute this uh, z value back in uh, equation 4 to solve for y so i can uh, substitute z equals to 10 in equation 4 to find y so that reads uh, 2y plus 2 times z and now z value is 10 is equal to 40 so 2y is equal to 20 take this 20 on the other side so 40 take away 20 is 20 and that leaves you with y value of 10 and then uh, what we will do next is we'll substitute z value of 10 and uh, y value of 10 in the first equation to solve for the value of x and that gives you uh, x value of 20 then uh, you can put that information together so x is 20 y is equal to 10 and z is equal to 10 right, so this gives you one unique solution uh, which means that the uh, system is consistent with uh, independent equations and then uh, we need to answer the um, question in context so a local uh, soccer team manager should order 20 jerseys 10 shorts and uh, 10 hats and uh, once you've answered the um, question in context you will uh, get achieve uh, we can also geometrically see that uh, there is a common intersection so the planes will intersect uh, similar to this one and you will see that that is uh, the place where they will intersect to give you a unique solution so that's not required for achieve but um, I'm just showing you how the planes can be arranged uh, to get uh, one unique solution uh, in the next video, I will show you how we can use a uh, graphics calculator to solve uh, the same problem. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.